Hey, hey, hey. This is How to Cook Like Nadine. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to clean this nice yellowtail snapper that I bought, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my fish, my whole fish. Um, I'm Caribbean, so I like my fish to be whole. So I would rather go to the um, store, buy my fish whole, and come back home and clean it myself. Usually the store um, clean it out for you if you ask them to, like taking the guts out and take some of the um, scale out of your um, fish. So you do have to come back home and clean your fish, finish cleaning it, because they're not gonna clean it the way you want your fish to be clean, okay? Um, when you start um, with the process, you're going to need a separate bin that's gonna have, I have on here um, lime, fresh lime, mojo marinade, salt, and a little bit of water, okay? That's it, nothing else. Lime, mojo marinade, salt, and water. Okay, don't add too much salt. That was not salty, just enough, okay? When I say mojo marinade, I mean this, all right? Get you some, it's really good for any type of meat to marinate your meat, okay? It have everything on there, as you can see on the label. And then your salt. So <clears throat> I did slice my um, lime. So I sliced three of them out and squeeze out the fresh lime juice because you're gonna need that to marinate your fish um, later on, okay? So please do that. All right, so let's begin, okay? So when I clean my fish, I always start by removing the scale out, okay? Like I said, the store already going to remove the guts out, but if you buy it with the guts, so you make sure you slice, you cut up uh, your fish this way from the stomach and remove all the guts out. So since they already did that for me, only thing I have to do is remove all that extra veins and blood out to make sure it's nice and clean, all right? So I'm gonna run my knife through my fish to make sure all the scale is out because you do not wanna uh, cook your fish full of scales. Please, don't do that. So properly clean your whole fish. Cleaning your fish can be really messy. So I would advise you, if you don't know how to do it yet, to um, do it from inside your sink. But since I know what I'm doing, so I'm 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 right on top of the counter. And I have a bin also, so make sure you have a bin. See? Remove all that out. You do not want that in your food pretty a easy process because you have to clean your fish right because if not you're gonna have a fishy fishy meal when I mean fishy not in a good way like bad you gotta get all that out See? get all the little corners that you think the scale might be at Run your knife, nice and slow, all the way here. And they do have a scare remover, but I'm so Caribbean, I don't even use that, I just use my knife. And also you're going to need like a um, kitchen scissors, you're gonna need that, make that um, process easier. Get all the scale out. You do not want none of that when you cook your fish. So this fish, I'm actually gonna grill it. I can't wait, cause I've been craving grilled fish. So this is why I bought my fish. So I can grill it, marinate it real nice, real good, tasty. Some lime. Hot, some nice hot pepper scotch bonnet. I'm gonna let this fish sit overnight. So it can actually, oof, it's gonna taste good. See all that? Gotta remove all that out. You don't want that. See? Gotta remove all that from the fish head. And your knife. All right. So after you're done, I do not like my fish with the mouth and the teeth 
I do not, so I usually remove that out. So see how I'm doing it. All right, do the same thing from here on the other side. I mean, if you're the type that like your fish with the mouth, go ahead. I do not like mine like that, so I remove it. So here, you're gonna slice, you're gonna use your knife to slice it down even more because you're gonna clean the inside. See? All right. So you're gonna need like a little knife. You're gonna need a little knife like this. Make it easier. Remove all that, use your knife. Poke the inside a little bit. Move all that bloody veins out because you want it nice and clean. All the veins need to come out. All the little blood need to come out. When you're done, you're gonna run water. Not hot water now, cold water. And you're gonna slice your fish. I'm gonna do a four slice on each side because when you're about to marinate your, um, when you, I mean the cleaning process, you want all that lime, moho, and salt to get inside of your fish. That way when you bite into your fish, you taste everything. Not only on the outside, but on the inside, which is really important. See? You want it to be nice and clean. See? From this to this. All right. And you're going to run cold water from under your sink to rinse it out before you transfer it to your bin. It'll be nice and clean. All right. What do you think? Nice and clean. See? Then you're gonna transfer it into your bin, just like this. Make sure, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. Now to clean your fish the right way, like I say, you lime. Look, you gotta get the inside of your fish. That's really important. Use that lime, honey in the inside of your fish because you do not want that fishy meal because that will slap you in the face. I had that experience where <sighs> someone had fish meal and I'm walking up. All you smell is fish. It's not sweet. It is very fishy where you want to run and grab a spray to spray the entire room. So that's really important. Okay. See? Run your, rub your line on the fish body. Get all that in there. All right. I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna let this sit. When I'm done with all the fish, it's gonna sit for a good hour. I'm just gonna let it sit for the night, for till like probably later on. And then I'm going to marinate my fish, let it sit overnight. Yes, honey. All right. I'm going to do one more to show you guys. All right. Like I said, first you start with the scale, removing all the scale. From your fish get every little corner every little corner they're hiding 
the head. Like I said, fish can be really messy when you're cleaning, taking a scale out. So just be careful. That was it doesn't fly all over you or over your countertop because when you're done, you're gonna need bleach to clean your countertop, your sink. So please have bleach ready to clean because you do not want that smell to be in your house. So you need a nice bleach to clean your sink, your countertop, your bins, your knife. This is how I clean my whole fish. This is the nice yellow tail snapper, which I love, by the way. All right, so you're gonna get it right here, see? You gotta be careful, it's a lot. That way it doesn't fly out. your knife put your fish slice it down remove all that bloody veins out all that need to come out see take that out take that out that's really important you guys you guys have to clean the inside of your fish nice you gotta clean it nice because you do not want that fishy smell when you cook your fish or grill it or bake it, fry it, however you're gonna do it, or boil it. See? Nice and clean. All right, you're gonna remove, I do not like the mouth or the teeth on my fish, so I'm gonna remove it off. If you're the type that like that, that's up to you. You can go ahead and keep it, but I do not like that. So I'm gonna take it out with my scissors. It's gonna make it easier for you than using a knife. Okay. And for the finish, each side of your fish, you're gonna run your knife through it just like this. Three to four slice. Flip it. The reason I, I do that is because you want all your lime juice, your mojo, your salt to get inside of your fish because you want that good taste when you bite into your fish. And then when you're done, you're gonna rinse it off. Usually, well, like I, they already take out all the fin, the fin from the fish out in the store, but if you brought your fish home with that, you're gonna have to cut it out. If your uh, fish had a long tail, you can just cut some of it out. Not the whole thing, just, you know, halfway. Make sure all your scale is out. And that's it, you guys, it's really easy. If you brought your fish home with the guts, remove the guts out, and then, Hit every little corner. And then you're gonna run cold water under your sink through your fish, okay? Not hot, cold water. Because fish is really easy, easy, easy to cook. It doesn't take much, really easy. So you do not need nothing hot for this or vinegar for this. You just need lime, mojo, salt to clean your fish. And voila. Voila. All done. Gonna run your line through your fish. Give it a nice rub. 
get all that fishy smell out on the inside. Open it up. Get the inside really, really, really good with your lime. You gotta get all that. Get the inside of your fish. Rub it really nice, really good. All right, so when you're done, you're gonna let it sit because you want all that lime juice, salt to get inside of your fish. And that's it, voila, you guys, that is it. All right, that is it, that is it. I hope this video was helpful to you. And I hope you're gonna use this video to practice, to learn, and to cook your fish. Cook your whole fish, y'all. Cook your whole fish. The whole point of me making videos and posting on my YouTube is because I'm a big advocate for homemade meals, okay? I love to cook homemade, okay? I love to cook homemade, save money, and put a nice big smile on my family's face when they eat my food. There's nothing better than a nice, delicious, homemade food that is cooked right, that's well-prepared, okay? It's all, it all start with the process of the cleaning process, the marinade process. For you to have a nice, good, tasty, homemade uh, meal, whether you are cooking fish, whether you are cooking chicken, turkey, pork, goat, beef, okay? You have to clean your meat right. If your meat is not clean and marinated right, you cannot have a good meal. I'm telling you that. Your food is not gonna taste good because you're, it all start with the meat itself, okay? I'm Caribbean, I love to cook Caribbean food. It all start with the meat. If your meat is marinated right, or clean it right first, and then marinate it right, there's no way you cannot have a good meal. All right? So if you're a beginner, Baby steps. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna finish cleaning the other two of my fish and I will uh, actually make another video to show you guys how I marinate my fish, what ingredients I use, the spices I use to marinate, which is really easy and simple. So if this video was beneficial to you, please comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know if, um, if you're gonna um, use this um, method to clean your fish. Let me know what you think, I wanna know, okay? And what you waiting for, man? Cook you some fish. Go to the store one day and say, I'm gonna buy some fish. I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna cook it just like Nadine does it in her kitchen. All right, if it was helpful, share it, comment, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That way when I post other videos, you guys are able to, um, to get notification. Voila, it's all done. Nothing to it but to do it. Get cooking, cook homemade, homemade food is best, okay? Learn, practice, and if you have children, pass it down to your children, okay? Pass it down to your children. Cook homemade, all right? Cook homemade, homemade food is best. Thank you again for watching.